We are here at Royalty Exotic Cars in Las Vegas, Nevada, and it's here where you can rent pretty much any supercar or exotic car, sports car you can imagine. We're talking Lamborghinis, we're talking Ferraris, even Bugattis. We actually have a Lamborghini Aventador behind us, and we're gonna build a gaming PC based around this car's theme. I'm gonna give you a brief tour of Lamborghini Aventador. First, you guys know what we're dealing with. This is a beautiful matte black finish. It's a 2016 model year, in case you're wondering. V12 naturally aspirated engine. We've got a firing order badge right there at the front. It's beautiful with carbon fiber inlays. We also have four throttle bodies. Everything all together makes about 700 horsepower thereabouts to all four wheels, all wheel drive. That's right, we'll show you some shots. So we're gonna actually have excuses to use this car in the future. Uh, you know, run and pick up some parts. But with that said, you guys have an idea of how insane this car is. Now we're gonna talk about how insane the gaming PC is gonna be because 12 cylinders will go just so good with 12 cores, the AMD Ryzen 9 3900X. We actually got this to work out. We didn't think about the correlation there, but uh, 12 cores, 12 cylinders, I think that's like, it's good enough, okay? We're working on a budget here. Now as for color, matte black for the car, we do have some matte black wrap from Slick Wraps. We're gonna see if that works really well with our Meshify C. Worst case, the case is already black, so it kind of fits. We also have some orange accents. The suspension has orange springs, also orange brake calipers and orange stitching in the seats. Very subtle, but it's there, and you'll see that the orange accents in our case will also be fairly subtle. The entire build will be mostly black. We're gonna to try to keep the RGB to a minimum. We have a carbon uh, motherboard, carbon accents on the graphics card as well. And again, those subtle uh, orange tones in the cables and also the case. So that is the design of the car. Those are the specs of the car. Now, specs for our gaming PC. Now, first up, obviously, the Ryzen 9 3900X, 12 cores, 24 threads, max boost of 4.6 gigahertz. It is a beast for any gaming or editing system. Up next, the MSI MPG X570 Gaming Pro Carbon Wi-Fi. This thing not only has has some carbon fiber like accents, but it also is an X570 board. So we get PCIe 4, we get uh, surround sound. You're gonna get excellent power delivery across the board. Great for overclocking if you wanna do that, but it's also just a great looking board altogether. Gonna fit very nicely in our Aventador theme build. Then we have the RTX 2070 Super. This is the Gaming X version from MSI. You guys know 2070 Super is by now. Very efficient graphics card. I'm gonna run you about 450 to 500 bucks. Gonna be a great 1440p gamer, even some 4K if you're interested in that. It's also gonna look friggin' awesome. For him, we've got 16 gigs of G-Skill Ripjaws 5 memory. The accents on these actually almost match perfectly uh, with the exterior of the Aventador, and they also have pretty good speeds, 3200 megahertz frequency, and timings are 16, 18, 18, which is great for Ryzen. Obviously not the best, but we only included two sticks in this build, so you can upgrade to 32 by adding two extras in the future if you want. For storage, we've gone with an 860 Evo. This is a 500 gig drive from Samsung. Pretty straightforward, good for an operating system and the like. Obviously not as fast as an NVMe drive, but it's a simple swap if need be. You can also throw in a one, two, four, eight, 16 terabyte hard drive for your Steam library and the like in the future as well. And now we move on to our Fractal Design stuff. Fractal Design is actually the sponsor of this video. Of course, I'm sure you probably figured that out going into it because Fractal Design, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, of course, Josh is gonna be Josh. And I'm totally fine with that because that means I get to be around expensive cars. But this is the Meshify C, one of my favorite mid towers on the market. It's a compact mid tower, which means we're gonna be able to fill out most of the space in this, which is what I wanted. We're actually gonna be giving away this entire system and I feel more comfortable giving away something I would personally use, and this is the case I would personally choose for a build of this caliber. We also have the Ion 860P. I believe this is a, how much what wattage is it? Uh, 800, oh, 860P. 860 watt power supply, which is plenty for this system. And we also have the Celsius S24, so we're gonna throw in an AIO to keep our CPU nice and chill. A little concerned about the space in this one, obviously, is a trade-off going with a mid-tower. Uh, we do have the S2 as well, so we could upgrade to that, although I think we can get away with putting it up front. The card is not too big. Might also be able to get away with stowing it up top. So we'll play around with it. We'll see. We're gonna experiment just a bit. Now there's one other aspect of the build I haven't mentioned yet, the custom sleeve cables. We had nsource.net put these together. These are hand sleeve. They are beautiful. They have subtle orange accents, even some carbon looking sleeving. These are really good looking cables. I think it's gonna just set off this build so nicely to look as close as possible given we're not doing anything extremely crazy mod wise uh, to make this look as close as possible again to the Aventador. So all that out of the way, let's get to building. It's about time we get started with that. So let's get this band boy out of the box first. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, another one. Oh yeah. Oh, 3900X. <laughs> Some kind of 
sounded like a hurricane. I just revved it right outside. All right, lifting that latch. I got a good shot of this right here. Dropping her in nice and gently. You don't want to do what I did and break a 3900X. There we go. And you can see here it says the first two slots we want to fill are uh, them slot A2 and B2. A and B are, of course, the two channels we're going to utilize. I'm going to pop this one back as well. So there's one. And that is two. And while we're installing this, getting the wiring set up, power supply AIO, we're gonna show you what we're gonna do to make the case just a bit more custom to match the Aventador. And to help with that, we're bringing in Tiny Tom Logan from OC3D. How's it going, man? Hiya, how are you? All right, I'm all right, thanks for being here. Thanks and uh, you. you have some experience with painting, yeah? I've got a little experience with painting. I've done a few bits in the past. There you go, and what are we doing today? So we're gonna take the front panel off because it's obviously a bit black, it's a bit boring. And then we're just gonna shoot it with a color that's as pretty close as we can get to the uh, brake caliper color. Awesome. All right, so we're going to show shots of him doing that while we're installing the rest of the components into the case. Whoa, 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 whoa. dude. What? What are you doing? going to paint it to match. You're supposed to paint this to match that. Don't, uh, pa don't paint the calipers. Okay. Now we don't need to worry about installing an IO shield, thankfully, because this motherboard has an integrated one. I'm gonna drop it in like so, without breaking anything. We will install the AIO block after securing the motherboard. If this was an air cooler, I'd recommend installing that before putting the motherboard in the case. Just trust me on that one. Securing motherboard to the chassis, please hold. All right, up next, let's tackle the simple wiring. I recommend doing that before installing your power supply because doing the small wiring after everything else is already in your system, it's gonna make the small wiring a very difficult process. So tackle it first. Nice, that'll do. HDMI over here. It's so much easier doing this before your graphics card's installed and your power supply. Last thing is this fan header. We took out the front fan. All right, I need that. We have the AIO going in there. Uh, then we do have one more fan at the rear, so we're gonna connect this so we don't forget. We'll call this the uh, CPU fan. Celsius SS24. Our two fans, the radiator, tubing, and the integrated CPU block. It's kind of all over the place. So we ran a quick test fit. I'm glad we did because this gaming X card from MSI is a bit bigger than I thought it was. So you can see this is roughly where it's gonna be in the case and there's just, if there is enough space, it's gonna be pressed right against the fans and I'm just not comfortable putting these components that close together. So uh, we're going to top mount the AIO. There is room for that. Our RAM is not super gaudy and large, uh, so it will fit. And the mounting points on the Mesh5C are close enough to the left panel that we do have uh, plenty of clearance there, even from our uh, heat sinks for the motherboard. So let's do that. We're gonna save the graphics card for last. So we're going to have these fans exhaust air out the top of the case. Just fine anyway, heat rises naturally. So that's cool, following suit with nature. I've never actually top mounted a rad in a mesh if I see before, so I'm interested to see what this is gonna look like at the end of the day. All right, we're gonna use the other set of shallower screws here to secure the radiator to the top of the chassis. In we go, easy does it. We do have that stock thermal compound still on the block. I'm gonna try to keep that on there. Gotta kind of finesse these screws in position. First two are always the most difficult. Once you get these in though, you can stop holding the rad and take care of the rest. So the tubing will run kind of like that. It's a bit unorthodox, but I think it looks pretty cool. We'll go ahead and get this block secured. Hey Greg, is this supposed to be here like that? Yeah. Ah, oh, geez. I'm s We're gonna have to take it all apart, Josh. It's okay, it's an easy fix. We just have to take literally everything out of this PC. So we're just threading the extension cables through now. Power supply is not yet installed. Next up, power supply. Uh, by the way, these cables, I thought they were extensions. They're actually full sleeved. K 
cables, so they will run straight into the unit, which is very cool. No added clutter. And uh, the extra cables, things no one will see, like the SATA cable to the SSD. We're just gonna use the stock ion plus cable there. Stock cables we are using, super flexible. Josh wanted me to tell you that for some reason. Good. I hate you. And with all the cables connected, just gonna slide her in like so from the rear. Mashvice does have that removable bracket behind the motherboard tray. Chose to put it on the right side. So we're gonna try to cable manage most of these, uh, like the state of data and power kind of along the back of the frame. I have it all wrap around, keep this area nice and empty. Not that you'll be seeing much of it. Now, Tiny Tom Logan is actually going to be painting uh, the brace underneath the card that comes included with the Gaming X from MSI uh, Orange. That's gonna be like our caliper in our build, so it will kind of uh, match the subtle orange and the cables inside the build. Uh, and while he's painting that, we're gonna go ahead and install the card and power on the system once everything's wired up, make sure it is all working because uh, you don't wanna give away a dead system. That would not, uh, <laughs> would not be good for either Fractal or myself. There goes one, there goes two. And slide her in like so. She is a big one. All right, thumb screws in. Now let's finish the wiring. Tuck them in, make the cables look nice and orderly. The combs included, uh, actually the, the kit, we didn't tell Ensourced uh, what card specifically we were using, just that it was an eight plus six. Uh, and uh, that is our fault on the communication side of things because uh, the combs actually connect, they're, they're bridged. So all, uh, well, I guess one, two, three, four, five, six, so eight plus six. So all 14 of them uh, are bridged together under one big comb. But if you flip it over or run it this way, uh, the six pin is on the wrong side. And of course you have to have the latch on the top for this particular card. So uh, it's actually upside down. Again, that's our fault, not end source. So we're not gonna be able to expose the cable combs but that is just fine. We're gonna make things look as orderly as we can. Should still be a sexy build once we're finished. Just doing some cable tidying at this point. Okay, some wire cutters. Clean this up and that's cable management. In the Mesh 5C it is Super simple. And this here is the finished product, a beautiful orange coat that Tom has handled all himself. I'm very appreciative of that work that you've done for us. This <laughs> looks so much better. Uh, and uh, it's gonna offset the, uh, the pretty much all black interior very nicely. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and install this. And uh, then we're going to install the graphics card bracket that uh, he also painted for us. And that paint job is awesome as well. All right, so this is the finished build in the Mesh 5C. Really glad we went with this case because the build is just filled out very nicely. Just a graphics card and AIO in there, no custom cooling of any kind, but it just looks filled out. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why I love this chassis so much. It's very compact. Uh, and uh, also the color scheme, the orange painting. Tom did an awesome job of OC 3D for that. Uh, he really saved us on the color scheme, to be honest, because we didn't have much orange to begin with apart from the custom sleeve cables from nsource.net. So uh, really thankful that uh, Tom helped us out there and the, the finish just looks awesome. So to round things off, big Thanks to Fractal Design for sponsoring the video, the case course, the power supply, the AIO, uh, as well as the vendors that supplied hardware, MSI, AMD, and nsource.net for those custom sleeve cables. Speaking of which, 
if you want to win this exact system right here, I'm, I'm a little sour, not going to lie, because I really like this build. But uh, we're going to be giving this away along with a free 24-hour rental courtesy of Royalty Exotics. If you want to learn more about how to win either of those things, click the link below and you can get started. Best of luck to everybody. I am getting out of here.